Gary defeat at Geisley, but is that a game we should have got something from? We had chances first half. Um, and I said to James during the course of the first half, uh, we could really miss chances, if you like, and that's what exactly what happened. We, uh, we warned the players at half time what they could do to us in terms of uh, scoring against us. We identified that, we knew that, and we got caught out by them. So, uh, yeah, we're bitterly disappointed. The first half had been so promising, but in the second half, is it credit to Geisley, who, who are on an excellent run, as we've spoken about, or, or do you feel that the team dropped their standards somewhat? Yeah, both. Um, you have to give credit to Geisley, the way they went about it. They dug in, they, they, they changed their formation, they made it difficult for us. They had something to hang on to, but we weren't mm, we weren't at the level that we should be at, especially second half. Um, but all in all, no. Give credit to, to Geisley today. Um, no, not good enough from our side. Geisley have made a strong start. They hit the post early on. They, they are on an excellent run. We knew the strengths that they've got. Yeah, they're on an excellent run. They've got, they got some confidence in there, they've got some belief. They had something to hang on to, obviously, when they scored. Even when they didn't score, they had something to hang on to. But if you don't take your chance, you're not ruthless enough or clinical enough. That's what happens. You get punished, and uh, we got punished today. And, um, players, the players have to have uh, a look at themselves. Did they do enough today? Did they do enough for themselves? Did they let themselves down? Did they let our supporters down who travelled up there? Um, we had a wonderful opportunity today, a wonderful opportunity, um, and we haven't taken it, which is, uh, is disappointing from our side. After that strong guys you start, for the, for the remainder of the first half particularly, the shots were dominant, several chances, Shamir Fenelon hits the crossbar, albeit an excellent save from Johnny Max there to push the shot onto the bar. Is, is that the story for you today, those missed chances in the first half? Yeah, for me, yeah, and even, even the second half there when there was a scramble. That's got to go in the back of the net. They're, they're the, that's the difference between a point or, or three. Um, and today it wasn't, it wasn't to be for us. But you know, the annoying thing from, <laughs> from where I am is it's an opportunity. We had an opportunity to put some pressure on teams around us. Uh, and that's, that's, not, that's not the first time it's happened this season. So, you know, there's some things that we have to address. and. We have to make sure that when their opportunities are there, that we have to take them. Today, that didn't happen. And at, at this stage of the season, with the standards that, standards that you're setting, that 12-game un, unbeaten run matters matters naught. It's now this afternoon has has not gone to plan. Yeah, it was great, great unbeaten run. How many draws did we have in it? We want to be winners, not drawers. Um, and I want to win every football match. Um, and in the scheme of things, you know, you pick up uh, some draws, yeah, you pick up a point. I'd rather win a game. Um, yeah, good little run, that's come to an end. But I want to be, I want our group to be winners, not drawers. And today we lost. And, you know, the, stand, the standards that we've set, um, we didn't reach them today. You'd lost Bernard Mensah to injury. He couldn't travel today. What's what's the nature of that? Do we know yet? an injury on Thursday in the session that we had Thursday at the ground. Um, obviously, we don't know how long he'll be out for, but we didn't want to take a risk, so uh, he didn't travel today. But um, you know, we have to we have to have a look at everything today. Um, you know, we have to be far more professional in what we do um, throughout. And um, you know, the performance today just wasn't good enough, in my opinion. You know, we could say, yeah, we've done all right first half, we created chances first half, but we didn't take them chances. Um, and it's about taking them chances, being <coughs> clinical, ruthless, all of that, which we've touched on during the course of the season. And today, when it really, really mattered, because the most important game was today's game, uh, the opportunity was there for us today, we didn't take it. The unbeaten run was always going to end at some point. The important thing now is the response in the week to start another one against Sutton next weekend. As I said to you before, it doesn't make no difference. It's the next game. You know, the next game is a home game. Um, the players need uh, to respond. They need to put on a performance. Um, we need to pick up three points. Um, they have to take that opportunity now to do that at home. And again, we had a good following in here today. We thank everyone for coming. We were frustrated and annoyed at the end, you know, and I needed to speak to the players and 
we need some numbers coming in next Saturday at home um, because there's still a lot to play for, but we have to make sure that we get back to the level that we were at. Thank you, Gary. Safe journey home. Thank you.